how are you? My name is Triana. I'm from Mexico, and I'm so happy to be part of the beautiful multicultural festival in Haven. So today, we're going to cook a very traditional Mexican dish, very delicious, name it frijoles charros, charro bean. Maybe you guys already heard about this wonderful dish, and now you guys are going to learn how to prepare it. I'm Brian Amador from Solicanto, and I'm here to show you how to make my salsa that is a, a staple in our house. My daughter, Alisa, calls it sweet torture. Why? Because it's delicious and a little bit torturous. Sure. Hey, All right, everyone, welcome to the factory. Today, we're going to show you guys how to make some gyros, which is a, it's a pretty much a famous Greek uh, street food. Um, every Greek likes to eat gyros, whether there's fries in it or fries out of it, or they have tzatziki or yogurt. Uh, there's all different ways to make uh, gyros, so we'd like to show you guys uh, what we do here and share a little uh, Greek culture. Uh, my favorite gyro uh, would be uh, the pork gyro. It's a traditional gyro. It's the one that uh, most people eat in Greece. Um, and we'll show you the recipe and how we make it here at the Fat Greek. And mine's the Fat Greek, our signature yeah. gyro. Yeah. Nice. Hello, my name is Jonathan Alvarado. I'm going to be preparing beef empanadas. I'm a part owner of Cafe El Camino and I'm here for the Multicultural Festival. So what we have here is everything you would need for the traditional beef empanada, from spices to garlic to peppers, onions, and of course the meat. And you gotta have the cheese at the end. Alright. Hello everyone, I'm Kristen from Carboni's Kitchen representing Italy for the Multicultural Festival. We're going to be demonstrating here um, a variation on a classic caprese salad with romaine, fresh Roma tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella wrapped in prosciutto with um, our own nut-free pesto. So I'm O'Neill. I'm Avonique. Yeah, and she just displayed the curry goat I'm pasta, really. the cooking of our curry goat, the Jamaican authentic curry goat pot process with rice and beans you just add some veggies to it it's the this is the finished product so that's what it looks like okay. so i want to thank you guys and we're so excited for the multicultural festival coming in haverhill this september so thank you all thanks for joining us and thank you guys for hosting <laughs>